Okay, we are here at the Village recording studio. That's right. With it's, not spy an it's not an actual village. No. no. It takes a village. No. Yeah. It's and in a village. It turns it into a recording studio. Right. And we're, we're here with the, uh, the most recent reunion of Spinal Tap. Uh, you may not know that this is C.J. Vanston. He's our keyboard man. Caucasian and Jeffrey. And producer. Caucasian And producer. Vanston. I'm Mr. Bonsai. And we're going to dig under the surface here and try to find out a little uh -oh. bit about this new recording. We don't care if you dig under the surface, just sterilize the instrument first. We'll do. Yeah. Find the surface buried underneath the surface, yeah. The rumor has it that this was the most difficult Spinal Tap album to record. Is that true? Um, I don't think, I wouldn't say that it was the most uh, difficult. It was unusual because he's looking at his watch. Well, I'll give you the short answer then. Fuck yourself. <laughs> yeah. No, it was. This was actually fine. We uh, we had a good time. Um, we did a lot of the old songs. You know, it was sort of like old wine. Well, not new bottles. The bottles were old as well, but they're packed in a really high impact space age. Uh, new label carrying thing. Yes. No corks. No mm. corks. Mm. We do have a new label called the Label Industry. Mm -hmm. Mm. Yeah. Um, yeah. Pertaining to the record These would we're mean. doing. Yeah. yeah, a lot has happened in the. Uh, not really. The, no, not really. But some things have happened yeah. since the first album. Oh yeah. And now yeah. we have all of this, uh, you know, this digital manipulation. Right. Yeah. And uh, I just wondered if you guys resorted to any of that auto tuning trickery, technological jiggery pokery. Yes. That's what you're saying? Another way of putting yeah. it. Yeah. Yes. Oh yeah, we love it. Yeah. Oh. That's especially him. You know, we just look over and there's CJ and he's fiddling with something. And we say, put that away, get started on the music. And then he starts like doing all this digital stuff and he's, 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 he's explaining it to us, you know, but he does it like Bobby Jindal. It makes it feel, it makes us feel like we're like five years old. And um, we are, because we don't understand half of it. But we know that when he tweaks it, it stays tweaked, right? Yes, absolutely. So uh, in other words, yeah, we make use of anything we can make use of, yeah. Well, maybe CJ should answer this one. Uh, any cutting edge breakthrough types of new special effects technology? I'll handle that. No, go <laughs> no, 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 take it. Ah, uh, no. no. <laughs> I could have said that. Cool. Vintage. Yeah, we're mostly vintage. Uh, I'm curious, you're going to be going out on tour, probably. We're doing a, a very few selective uh, uh, festival uh, dates, yeah. yes. Which is to say the ones that made us an offer. A good offer. Yeah. Any new or get offer set designs? No, we've got pretty spare actually, because yeah. you know we're going, we're going to be stepping into other people's uh, clothing, as it were. Yeah. You know, we're not bringing too much of the stage gear. We have we have kind of bad luck with that anyway. You know, stuff doesn't really always work, and then it's just a bit of a time waster. And we can waste plenty of time just playing music. True. Yeah, it, yeah. It's 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 uh, focus on the music. Mm -hmm. It's not about at our stage of our career. It's not about, oh, look, they had this built or they couldn't get this in the door. Or right. Like that. Let's focus on the music. Right. That's what it's about. Beautiful. And, yeah. Ed Sherney had something to do with this album. I believe yes. he, he recorded the uh, tracks. Now, Ed's really known for his work with many, many artists, especially yeah. Bonnie Raitt. Yeah. Do you think that there's a Bonnie Raitt kind of intimacy with this new album because of Ed's... There's result? a cut-rate intimacy with this album, I mm -hmm. think, more to the point. More, more than Bonnie. Really cut-rate. I wish Bonnie had shown up. We yeah. Could, yeah. I mean, she's always pleasant to have around. You know, she was off, you know, waltzing with Castro or something, you know. She's very politically involved, he said, with a sniff. Hmm. Which Castro would that be now? Fidel. He's dead. No, he's not. Dead. No, it's Lenny, the percussionist. <laughs> yeah. That's <laughs> you. No, but um, you know what? I, I think that Ed does bring that sort of like chummy quality. I think that's very true. Mm -hmm. Yeah. There was chum in the studio every day when we were there. Mm. That's right. Always throwing out the chum for us sharks. <laughs> yeah. I'm interested in what you guys think about this, the, the rampant digital bootlegging and ripping off mm -hmm. of all the material you've worked on for so many years. How do you... How do you deal with now, that? No, listen, we've been ripped off as much as anyone. You know, we, uh, some of our, just our basic licks, I mean, uh, yeah. just basic guitar, some of the stuff that Nigel comes up with, it's like, wait for around five minutes and someone else has ripped it off, you know, so what's the difference? 
ripping it off digitally or, or copying it. Yes. When you've, you know, we've been ripped off by almost every by major. By the best. By the best, by the f***ing best, by every major that's record That's how they got company. to be the best. That's how the they got their lifestyle. That's how they got their fancy cars and their great homes in the Hollywood Hills. So, you know, now it's the, the punter's turn, turn yeah. that's all. Now everybody can act yeah. like a record executive and rip us off. Yeah. You and your bass, how do you stay ahead of the... He's usually a bit behind. Yeah, I think actually. behind is where you want to be. You don't want to be ahead. Mm. You'll be, the pocket is behind. Yeah. But you've done so... Wait, wait, where are the pockets on your trousers? You've done... Behind. Yeah. It's a clue. You've done some, you've done some work on your, on your bass sound over the years. Oh, yeah, fattened it up. Yeah, yeah. thickened it up. Thickened how? it up. How? Yeah. how? Oh, just, you know, some uh, working with different pickups and, and different kinds of strings. And well, mainly is his fingers are fatter. It's true, yeah. yeah. He's that picking helps. that up. And it's chubby hard, fingers. hard to get fatter than these, but yeah. I did, yeah. Squat it's little bars. Sausages, sausage yeah. factory, yeah. 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 Like a farmer. Like a farmer. Well, sex yeah. farmer. Like a sex farmer.